corner. Number 22, Grayson Banks. No puck. Second baseman, number 11. Number 38. Now batting the left fielder, number 40. batting the second baseman number six <laughs> now batting the left fielder number 31 Catcher number fifty two. Pitching number sixty. Push. Ball outside. Now batting a shortstop, number thirty three, Jesse. Oh, <laughs> 
Now batting the third baseman, number 14. Second baseman, number 82, Dally Weaver. Now batting the first baseman, number 59. Field number eight. The shortstop, number 29. The third baseman, number 18. Now pitching, number 37. batting the center fielder number 37. The pitcher, number 16. Now batting, number 28. And that's a good thing, June. Uh, pretty sure that's the right button. Hello, gang. How's it going? It's uh, Sunday. It's Easter. Uh, it is uh, the season of renewal, allegedly. 
uh, and I'm aiming to renew our chances of actually seeing the postseason this year. Well, I mean, I don't know. We're two and two at the moment, which isn't dreadful, but I've got to start beating out two and two in order to get a little bit further. This evening, we've got Colonel School, who are in the league. Yeah, three and one currently, uh, leading the way in the whoop whoop division. And, uh, and then we follow up with a game against the Bongolia Sea Raiders, uh, who are currently riding on a two and three. So the odds, I would say, were uh, lose number one, win number two. Oh, let's poll it. Oh, we love polling people these days. Start a quick poll. Uh, yeah, hold on. Wait. Uh, yeah. Colonel. Uh, I'm, I'm going to abbreviate, right? CS uh, win uh, Raiders lose. Uh, loss, right? So this is from the BDP perspective. No, no, no. no. Result. No, 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 no. Hang on, I should have thought of this while while we were warming up. Uh, yeah, we can go with yeah. You know, CS uh, is a win, and uh, you, you know what? We'll go with we'll go with ultimate positivity. Sorry, sorry, I, I should have been early. Double win, yeah. Uh, double loss, yeah. Okay, adds an option. Uh, win first, then lose, right? And then lose. First, then win. That makes life much easier. Start that poll. Uh, right, hang on. It's cranking. Poll is cranking. Uh, get your get your opinions in, uh, and then we'll be uh, we'll be properly set. Mitch has chucked a tenner in the bucket uh, to buy an upgrade from the cheap seats. Thank you, Mitch. Uh, there are only cheap seats. Techno Cardi has bought a ticket up in the in the nosebleeds, and uh, Rusty has. Not only got himself a ticket, but a couple of hot dogs and a large cold beverage, and is expecting to cover that with a tenner. Come off it. Uh, I don't fancy your chances. What decade are you living in? Um, anywho, here we go. Uh, right, now, uh, we do get to face off against Shandy Worthless, who I think is playing for Colonel School, but I can't remember. Uh, but we've got them first. Eula Kaibosh is going to be pitching for them. Uh, Kevin wants a beer and a hot glass. You want a, a glass of wine and an Easter egg. Nice one, Kevin. <laughs> uh, sophisticated. 44% uh, of you are saying double win. That's the, uh, that's the favourite at the moment. You bunch of optimists. It's going to get you nowhere. Uh, right, let's, uh, let's check the lineup. Um, right, Steve Murray, still fit, still playing then. Uh, Chubbs is not in the mood. Bubbly is not feeling it. She needs to play, though, to get her mojo back, you know? To just become Bubbly merchandise. She was absolutely barbecued in the first game, and uh, and that's uh, it's reflected poorly on her. Who could I bring in at shortstop if I had to? Uh, Benny the Cheese, maybe. He's, yeah, he's a utility infielder. Actually, Cindy's a utility infielder. Could slide her over to shortstop, play Benny at second. Benny's not that great. He just had a really good run at the end of last season. Techno Card has chucked 20 Canadian bucks in the bucket. Uh, one nachos and a wobbly pop. Uh, have some Monopoly money. Thank you very much. Um, that's good. Right. Yes. Am I going to make any changes? I'm not. I'm sticking with this lineup until there is such a time to change it. Uh, Steve Murray is staying on the team for now. The, I, he has performed so well in the first few games, I would be foolish to change him over now. I'm going to leave the volume up while the game is introduced. I will then drop the volume, and then I will click back on the screen so we don't have a repeat of Welcome last Welcome back to Colonial Plaza. Get on your horse and let's do the baseball thing. Why do you need a horse to do the baseball thing? Well, I don't know, but there it is. Um, they're batting first. Well, okay, that gives me time to, uh, to warm up. Uh, Jan's got uh, uh, chucked 10 euros into the bucket because you've got a counterfeit bulldozer power cap. Well, I suppose if we offered one, that would be a different matter. I could be indignant about that, but I don't, so I can't. Um, right. Bubbles, just basic pitching from you, okay? Right, up until you, you start to feel like yourself. Right, okay, basic pitching. Basic, bubbly, bubbly. Okay, it's all right, it's okay. She's settling in. We'll show him a bit of everything. 
Scratchy misses it. Uh, okay, we're giving up a base hit. It's not the end of the world. It's okay. It's fine. It's all right. Everybody can be good. Whatever eyelashes interfering with my eye can just pack it in. Is he all the clumsy? All right. Uh, let's let's try. That's the stuff. That's the stuff. Let's see if we can't get a strike out here. Uh, right, and then uh, and then something curvaceous. That's not too bad. Uh, pinged off to the side. Okay, all right. No, that's all right. Just hit him with another one of these. Good pitchish. There you go. That's the ticket. Nice one, Bubbles. Uh, the triple ones there dealing the damage. Here's Jeremy Nuggets. He's got a home run so far this season, and he's uh, he's looking pretty pleased with himself as a result of that. Uh, well, okay. A bit high. Well, they went for it anyway. Coral's never going to get there, so she might as well stop. Yeah. Okay. Good. Keep them, keep them going. It doesn't matter if they foul off these early ones. That was a beaut. That was an absolutely beautiful pitch. That one's gone short. Cindy will throw to second. We'll throw to first. Okay. All right. It's all right. It's all right. We've got the advance runner. That's the bit that matters. Tim is pushing through the crowds to get to his seat, yelling, go, ball, going, <laughs> yelling, go, dozers all along the way and making new friends, uh, which is lovely. That one's gone foul. Right. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bring one. No, I was hoping for a swing at that, but we didn't get it. That's okay. That's all right. Put one in about there. That one's gone to Cindy, and that will clean it up for inning number one. Okay, good. I was worried there for a second, but only a second. Only a second. Right. Let's uh, let's see how the old backswing timing is looking today. Well, we're going to find out, aren't we? Here she comes. Cindy Vapid with a 550 average coming into this game. Uh, she should finish the season, and I realise it's a long way out, uh, but she should finish it with a 400 plus average. So she's got a little way to drop yet. Let's uh, strike two. Yeah. Whoa, hey, ho! Oh, gently does it. No need to take her knees out. Cindy won't get much off that one. Go straight to the shortstop. Not a problem. Not a problem. First inning, we're sizing them up. Also with a 550 average, here's Cookie Peaches out of the park, Wallace. Because that's how she likes it. Bad choice. Swinging at the first pitch, she's going to be toast as well. Yeah, should have waited it out a bit. All right, Big Steve. Hasn't hit a home run yet this season, but has been a delight to have back on the team. Uh, a reliable catcher both from uh, from behind home plate and uh, and at bat has made a big difference and he'll get on base arguably a waste unless we can convert this now steve can steal so the question becomes what's their catcher like in fact we're gonna go for it yeah uh no they've got a really good th uh, really good catcher all right okay val just see what you can do that's twice they've done that now. In fact, it might be all three times that the first pitch was on target and the second was off target. Three balls in a row. Come on, Val. Gets the walk. All right. Good, 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 good. Chubbs, here he is. Chubbs, do not swing for the fence, son. That is not your move. Your move is straight up the middle. And we've got Steve at the front, and he could take two bases if you get a decent hit off this. Strike one, ball one. Eee, no. Chubbs swung for the fence, doesn't get it. Oh well, never mind. Got a couple of hit. Well, got a couple on base out of that. It's at the end of one, it is nothing squared. Nothing squared. Nothing squared. His uh, treasonous individual, Shandy Worthless, who's batting 500 right now. Uh, how? Uh, he was quite good for us. He was, our, he was our home run leader. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah. Yeah, we got shot of him because we just don't like him. All right. Scratchy. Cindy. No. Nobody can be bothered with that one. And again, we've given up a base hit off the first ball. The left fielder. Number 57. Here's Wei Yan. 
a made-up name by the game. Ugh. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. But, I mean, unless I was going to go through and, and make up the incoming draft class as well, that's hardly the point. Yeah, I know. It just sours the whole experience to have people who, who, who don't belong. Uh, Bubbles, where are you putting this? Has he got any preferences? Only in terms of stealing signs. Uh, high and away? Yeah, I'll try it. That's good. Bubbly merchandise, second strikeout of the day. Here's Chris Biscuit. We've seen him before. He likes the bad balls, in which case we'll try and not only do the good stuff, uh, but we always try and do mostly the good stuff. Yeah, we, we rarely pitch completely outside the vein. Cindy can't get to that one, and that'll be two on base now. Hey. Yeah, Robin Pensioner up next up, uh, and he's volatile. All right, watch yourself, Bubbly. If you, uh, you know, you accidentally upset him with your pitching, he'll be over there to, uh, you know, scrobble your nimrods. That one's gone a long way. That's going to give up the first run of the day. Possibly two, unless we get a shake on. There is the shake being got on. We'll throw for home. Never mind. Never mind. Chubbs couldn't keep hold of it. Two runs given up there, and here comes the pitcher. Uh, runner now on second. Uh, yep. There's the bunt attempt, and it's actually going to work. Yeah, they've advanced the runner. Two outs, though. Here's Kremp Inquisitor coming around for another go. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. Yeah. Just just finish them off here. The damage has already been done. Yeah. I mean, that's what happened. I mean, if you let people get on base early, then runs are surely, surely likely. Uh, Bubbly couldn't really figure out where that one was going and so didn't bother to try and stop it. Just flummoxing around on the mound there. And uh, that's a runner to first. Is Yol the clumsy? Alright, okay. Yeah, just, just get them out, Bubbles. You've given up three runs already. I mean, you're rapidly losing my faith in you as our opening pitcher, you know. As our number one. Nah, she's got this. Alright. There you go. Alright. That wasn't good, no. But maybe we can answer as it is the unexpectedly greats who are up to bat next. Richard Yardline, Scratchy McHenry and Coral Success. Let's see what Yardy's got for us. Uh, maybe, maybe, maybe. Yardy, take your time. Don't rush it. Don't hurry yourself. Uh, don't feel obliged. Yeah, never feel obliged. And that one's a little on the high side. Yardy! Has it got the range to overshoot the fielder? Yes, it does, and he's made a move for second. That'll do nicely. He might have just about had the legs to make it a third there, but he didn't. So that's okay. Here's Scratchy McHenry. All right, Scratchy. He's delivered so far this year, has McHenry, and that's no bad thing. Yeah. No, 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 it's a good thing. I mean, how, how could that not be a good thing? Yeah, I'm, I'm just, you know, I'm filling in with, uh, with colour commentary. There's strike two. Right, McHenry. Choose your fool. Yeah, that was an edge case, Reed. Two and two, the count. Oh, that felt a bit inside, if you ask me, but I'll, I'll accept it, I suppose. Oh, that's not, that's not great. Okay, Coral. You're going to have to convert a run here. Because Bubbles is up to bat next and she's not... That's not really her thing. Coral has not converted a run and instead will get herself out. Uh, leaving us needing a base hit from Bubbles. She's batting zero so far this year, but then that was not a good game for her. <laughs> no, it wasn't. All right, Bubbles. All right. All right, just take your time. That's good. Oh, lovely hit from Bubbly Merchandise. She'll make it to base and we get a run. That's all we were needing. That's all we wanted. Obviously, more would be nice, but actually converting a run there is important. Uh, we can make defensive plays, but we have to make them. Still, we're not out yet. Is Cindy. A uh, big slog here. Oh, whoa, Cindy, for crying. What the hell is that? Oh boy, should have left that one alone. Oh dear me. Yeah. 
No, that's, that's, that's poor. At the end of two, the score is Colonel School 3, Bulldozer Power 1. Uh, signs of life from both teams. Too many signs of life, I'd say, batting from uh, from Colonel School. Yeah, more signs of life than you'd like. Yeah, I'd like fewer. Fewer signs of life from Colonel School, please. Uh, well, a big inning from Bubbly and the flip. Never mind. And for the third inning in a row, the first batter has just got straight on base. Now batting, the short <laughs> number 21. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Felipe flexing up next. Yeah, yeah. That's th three times in a row their opener has got straight on base. That annoys me. Yeah, well, be annoyed. I am. I am annoyed. Watch me. Annoyed is what I am. You went for that. Scratchy. It's somewhat over his head. They're going for third. Cookie with a rocket arm. But it's not going to arrive anything like in time. They now have runners at the corners. Shandy Worthless up to bat. And uh, as we've already established, Shandy does know how to bat. Yeah. Uh, it would be pretty typical if he did slap this one over the fence. Uh, the poll is still predicting a double win. Okay, there, poll voters. I like your confidence, but I'm not feeling it already. Anybody? Coral? Good catch from Coral! And that reverses what would have been a run. Now Fifty-seven. Goodness me, what a play, what a bit of fielding right there, amazing scenes, wouldn't have thought it possible and yet it was possible. Well, I mean, <laughs> hey, that was, uh, that was not bad, uh, that, that was arguably good. One of the best sliding catches you're going to see from Coral Success. That was exactly what I wanted you to do there. Because uh, I'm now going to try and get you on the old 4F. Nope. Yardy. No, that's well over his head. And that could spell trouble. I think they're going to try and capitalise here with two. Cindy with a husset to foot. Uh, okay. Uh, Wolfgang's chucked 20 crowns in the bucket to buy some vitamins for Bubbly. Just, she just needs some luck. She just needs a team that aren't awful. No, 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 that aren't really good at lighting her up. Uh, Val will snap that one up and get the second out. Now batting, the third baseman, number 67. All right, okay, two outs now. Runner on second. Robin Pensioner up to bat again. Got a double on his first. Yeah. Come on, Bubs, put him away. Show him who's boss, and it's you. Strike two, right in the bottom corner. Oh, that was a demon pitch. Uh, that's not bad either. Yeah, okay. Now what? Well, that's that, that's kind of foiled what I was intending to do. That one's high. It's long, but I don't think it's long enough. Cookie's at the fence. It might be long enough. It's long enough. What a disappointment. Yeah, I mean, he sent that one north uh, and let it return to earth with a thump. Okay, well, we just got to see if we can maybe pull together a, a couple of decent batting innings. But frankly, the absence of talent being shown by Bubbly Merchandise is a major concern. She is allegedly our best and yet is being cooked like an Easter turkey. Go. Well, someone come out and get it. I don't care who. Right, there's the third out. All right. Oh, man. Ah, oh, it was close. And now it isn't. No, but it, we, come on. We can do this. We can do this. Without one good inning. All right. Okay, let's go. Yeah. One, one, one good inning. One good inning. Come on, cookie. Let's just get the motor running. Everybody get on base. All right, nothing nothing more is required than that. Let's just base them up some. That'll do it. Nice one. Base hit from Cookie Peaches Wallace. Good. Right. Okay, just get on base or get a walk. Well, that would be getting on base. True. All right, Steve. Just get on base, mate. All right? Yeah, nothing sophisticated. Just a base hit. That's all we really need. 
Uh, just straight forward, get on base. That was inside, and you know it. Uh, all right, well, Steve has decided if against that plan and has gone for one of his own. That hasn't worked. Out number one. All right, okay, all right, okay. Come on, Val. If you want another walk, go for it. Just, just get on base. Just get yourself to the base there. On base is where we want you. Getting there is what we need you to do. That was inside. What's wrong with this ref? Yeah, this this umpire has uh, missed his appointment of spec savers. Val is going to make it after a difficult hit. Forced a mistake out of the second baseman. Runners now one and two. One out. Chubbs up to bat. Didn't succeed first time around. But he might do now. He might. Let's, uh, let's angle him in such a way that he uh, does one of those. Come on! Yes, sir! Should have got greedy and gone for home there. We would have had it. Never mind. It's all right. Yardy. He's coming off the back of a double. But he could end the inning. So, <laughs> uh, Yardy, base hit, please, bruv. Yeah, just a base hit. All right. Don't need anything more sophisticated than that. Simple, straightforward, run-of-the-mill base hit, please. That's three balls in a row. Ball three, strike one. We'll wait that one out. And he gets the walk. And that will walk in a run. Scratchy McHenry has the opportunity to hero mode. All right. Okay. Just a base hit, son. Just, a, just base the hit. Base hit, hit base, and we've demoralized the pitcher. Scratchy McHenry screws the entire thing up by giving up two outs. At the end of three, bulldozer power two. Colonel scores seven. <sighs> we had it. That was, it was all going to plan. Everything was working, and then it stopped working. Cramp Inquisitor's up next. Which is actually a typo. His name is actually Kremp Inquisitor. Uh, but uh, there you go. Uh, that one's gone over there. Yep. 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 Okay. All right. Bubs, you can get through this inning without getting anybody else out. And we'll review the situation. But I need you to get through four at least. Okay. We are putting in rather heavy rotation on our relievers right now. That's gone a long way. Cookie! She jumped for it, but couldn't quite make it work. The ball's going to arrive a little late, and that's a double. Now batting. Yeah. Right fielder, number five. Here's the clumsy. Right. Yeah, they got on base again from their first batter. Nope. Yeah, but at least it wasn't the first ball this time. That's not the point. <laughs> Is it? Is that the point? Is it? No, it's not. Keep throwing fastballs. There you go, strike one. Right, okay. Same again? Yeah, keep them going. That one's gone awkward. Yeah. Yardy will chuck it to second, but they're going to get a run. And there's still no outs. Now battle, the second base, number 59. Jez Nugget, next up. He's coming off a single. Right, yeah. Uh, defense, please. Uh, as much defense as you can decide to do. That's a decent pitch. That's good. Right, and I'll see if you can get him, you know, bang to rights. No, no, they've seen that one a few times now. Oh, pity. Yeah. I mean, the team is three and one. McHenry, too slow on the dive. I'd say, arguably, I'm going to blame the game for that. Yeah. Right. It doesn't give you enough time to respond. Where, in reality the uh, first baseman will be moving the second the ball is struck. It doesn't give you enough response time. Yeah, no. Alright, it doesn't change the fact that you fluff the play. No, it doesn't. Val, lovely. Val snaps one out of the air and finally we've got an out in this inning. Here comes Shandy Worthless. Alright, okay. Yeah. Alright. Yeah. Come on, Shands. Let me down. Yeah, like you did when you played for me. Just play rubbish, Andy. That'll do. Steve's calling for that one. He goes, yeah, I reckon I probably got it. And he does. Two outs. Now batting, the left Here's Wei Yan. He's in a good mood, which is a shame. 
Yeah. I mean, if I threw it at his head, he'd be in less of a good mood. But, I mean, frankly, that's not really going to help me that much. Uh, yeah. Good pitch. There's strike two. You, you, I don't think your off speed has really got enough to catch him out. But try it anyway. There it is. A strikeout. And some blushes saved there. Not before giving up another run, but hey, blush is saved as a place to start. Here comes Coral. All right, Coral. Yeah. All right. Get on base, Coral. All right. Just get on base. Or hit it out of the park. Hitting it out of the park is always allowed. Uh, we, can't, we can't guarantee getting on base and then starting the engine running and, uh, uh, you know, putting up a big number of runs. Just fouled that one off, but it was going inside. And that one's going to be caught. Just not enough. Oof. Right, Bubble, sit down. Uh, yeah, okay. Who are we bringing on? Well, the cheese would be traditional, but he's just not as good as JT. Uh, so uh, JT's coming in. Number 34. All right. That'll do. Johnny touchdown there with a nice straightforward slapstick up to centre field. He'll take his base. Uh, here comes Cindy, still looking for that elusive first hit of the day. She has got a home run. Oh, that's nice for her. Yeah, I know. Doesn't really count for much in this game, though. No, not yet. Car right. send. Car send. No, Cindy. Oh, my giddy aunt. Cindy Vapid continuing to make dubious decisions on which pitches to swing at. And she's gone again. Yeah. All right, Cookie. Come on. Cookie. All right, yeah, we need this one over the fence. All right, no, nothing else is going to do. We need a home run out of you here. You're probably our best home run candidate, so uh, let's have it. Well, okay, they get a base hit. It was a lovely one, uh, but at, at the same time, we, I want to convert the runners, please. We need the runs. Here comes Big Steve. All right, Steve. All right. If we have the opportunity, get greedy. All right. Two outs. Two on. Big Steve. He's the man. He is big. Yeah, he's had his breakfast burrito twice. That's how prepared Steve is. He's into it. He feels it. And uh, I promised him an extra bowl of Weetabix if he manages to get this done. Is he going to get it done? Well, he's going to get a base hit. And we've rounded thirds. And that'll be a run. Good. Good, 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 good. All right, here comes Val. Uh, BDP not rolling over and dying just yet, at least not offensively. Uh, defensively, we've stunk the place up. And a nice hit from Val, but it's not given us enough breathing room to grab another run there. So the bases are loaded. And here's Chubbs. Single, please, Chubbs. That'll do it. That'll do it. A single will do it. More than a single would be super, but you're not. That's not your thing. Uh, they're done with Eula Kaibos. She's history. And they're bringing in an A-minus rated reliever in the form of Blix Gornok, who is good. Yeah. All right. Okay. Well, then soak up his pitches. You know, do the do the thing. He'll only be around a little while. Wei Yan is sitting down. They're bringing in St. Crabthorn. Interesting choice. Presumably as a left fielder because of the speed. Yeah, but her fielding is terrible. Well, well, whatever you like. There it is. All right. Okay. Come on, Chubbs. A single. Just a single. No, oh, Chubbs swinging at a wild one there, and uh, that ends up nowhere good. Chubbs, come on. That one's too low. Chubbs. Come on, Chubbs. That one's inside. Chubbsy Beaver. The Chubbs. The Chubbinator is going to be caught. Out number three, but for the first time this game, we outscored them in an inning. And that's got to count for something. All right, the Conservative's coming on. Let's see if he can do any better than Bubbly, who has once again left the team with a massive hole to dig out of. Uh, trailing by five at the end of four. Yeah, we didn't pull more in, more runs back. No, we tied them. Oh, that's not so good. I thought I got two runs. You didn't? No. No, I know that now. Yeah. No, if only you'd known that before. Well, then I wouldn't have said it, would I? No, you wouldn't. Anyway, here we go. The Conservative. 
If you can get through to seven, Jeff, that'd be terrific. Yeah, stay on the stay on the four Fs. That one is only going as far as Cookie, and that will be out. Lovely. Right, three pitches to get the first guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, here's Robin Pensioner. He's already got a home run. Yeah. No, I mean I don't I don't understand how, but he did. Yeah. Well, he hit the ball over the fence. Oh, right. Is that how that works? Yeah, apparently. These are some nice pitches from Jeff Conservative. Uh, that's two in a row. And uh, here comes something with moon dust. There you go. Out number two. Conservative taking a name and putting it on his special list. Here's St. Crabthorn. First time we're going to look at her today. Uh, she's been brought in. She's a hitter. Oh, she can hit. Ah, right. Okay. Well, let's see if we can't suck her into something stupid. Okay. Yeah. That's nice. Pop straight up and Steve. Run, Steve. Run, Steve. Run. Oh, yes. Three outs. No drama. Jeff Conservative doing the thing that he needs to do, which is get people out quite readily. Here comes Richard Yardline. And uh, we, we, need to, we need to apply some pressure now. All right. You ready, Rich? Come on, Yardy. Wait, wait these out. We want to drain this guy as much as possible because he's good. Yeah. Strike one, allegedly. Yeah. Yardy, beautiful strike there from Yardy, and he's going round the corner, and will make his way up to second. Lovely. Oh yeah. Ah, oh, that's what you get. Someone's lost some fitness there. That's not a good sign. I think Yardy might have tweaked himself. Hmm. Oh. Well, okay. Yeah, he's pulled his hamstring. Okay, all right. Well, hopefully he can hobble his way around the rest of the track. Yeah, it's Scratchy McHenry who ruined it for everybody on his last at bat. Uh, but this time, maybe, maybe he'll come good. That's not bad. No, that's better than not bad. That's good. Go, Yardy, go. Go, Yardy, go. Go, 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 go. And it's a run. A double there from Scratchy McHenry. And we're back in business. Here comes Coral Success. She's waiting for her first hit of the day. Okay, Coral, get your first hit of the day. Let's go. Right. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, I mean, if you want to take the head off the pitcher, I'll allow it. Anyway, that's two balls, one strike. Coral, she's got it. There you go. And we've rounded third and gone for home, and that's another run. The team is the team. Here's Jeff Conservative. All right, Jeff, we've got no outs, so have a go, mate. Have a go. Jeff has a go. And forces an error from the shortstop, and Jeff will get on base. Boom shakalaka. And BDP looking lively here in the bottom of the fifth. Cindy Vapid, we're waiting for her first hit of the day. Is this the one? Is this it? Is this the vapid moment? Are we in vapid town right now? Uh, are we all about to wear our special vapid underwear and go? I like a Cindy. Yeah. All right, two balls, one strike. Cindy waiting it, waiting for it. Make a good decision for once, Cind. Three balls in a row. Okay, let's go. That was in the dirt. She gets the walk and the bases are loaded with no outs. Choo choo! I a but I a soundboard to, to, for choo choo. As Cookie Peaches Wallace, who has two home runs from the first four games in the season, I'm not saying that it's likely. I'm just saying it could happen. Blix Gornock is tense and is fading. Excellent. Yeah. That's three balls and uh, okay. And here's the fourth. It's a walk-in run. Yes, siri, Bob. Ah, oh, we've got right inside their brain cage. And here's Steve Morrie. He's already two of three. And uh, the BDP faithful being rewarded uh, with, a, with a show here in the fifth inning. And uh, that's what we like. Yeah. Come on, Steve. Steve, it's down the line. No, 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 no. Hold, hold, your, hold your fire. I pressed the button too early, so we didn't quite get the other run there. Uh, but that's another run anyway. Here's Val Hammock. She's two and a walk so far today. And they're killing the pitcher. 
by Blix. It was lovely seeing you. Thanks for all the runs. And Willa Bologna, Bologna, if you say so, is coming in. Uh, she's got velocity. She's got junk pitches. Her accuracy is lacking. Okay. All right. Yeah. And just in case you wanted to know the state of play at the moment, the bases are loaded and we've got nobody out. That's terrible. That'll be two outs right there, but we'll have another run. Well, it had to happen at some point, and it might as well have happened after we'd pulled level. Uh, here's Chubbs. Chubbs, we've got a runner on third, mate. If you can uh, get a hit here. Never mind. Okay. All right. Well, a five-run inning from Bulldozer Power, and the scores at the end of five, it's eight all. Eight all. Eight all. Eight all. Yeah. All square. BDP there with a hell of an inning. Brought it back into line. Here comes Kremp Inquisitor. He's having a heck of a game so far. A double and a pair of singles. Uh, but he hasn't had to face the conservative yet. Scratchy. Well, he made a stop. Get it, get it, get it, get it. And that's out number one. One pitch, one out. Jeff Conservative. He's the man. He's the thing. He pitches the ball and he makes a sing. Uh, Yeol the Clumsy is here, and he's going to try his chances against uh, the league's number one pitcher. Cindy makes a play, and that's out number two. Two pitches, two outs. Jeff Conservative. Book him in, take his name, mark it down on your calendar. Here's Jeremy Nugget. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's going to get on base. Cheeky little blighter. But we've still only thrown three pitches, so whatever. Uh, right, okay. Is Felipe flexing? He's only batting 200 this season, so maybe we shouldn't expect too much of him. But given his numbers, he should be should be performing better than that. The one thing we've not seen today yet, though, is the make you look like a chump. Jeff Conservative, two fastballs and a changeup. And we're going to try it right now. Okay, uh, Jeff is very, very confident. <laughs> okay, good. Go, Jeff. Didn't work, but it'll work. All right. Yep. Yep. That'll cost you. Yeah, okay. And for the second inning in a row, Colonel Score completely failing to get anywhere. But have we done enough to stop the rot? Can our batters now deliver? And we're looking at Yardi, who is injured. Oh, no. I need a new centre fielder. All right. Who have we got? Um, Kim. Can she play outfield? Yeah, she can play anywhere you like outfield, but she's rubbish. Yeah, we might be stuck with her. Uh, Johnny Touchdown's your other outfielder. Oh, no! Um, okay, have I got any... Can you play... No, you're third base only. You're interior only. Hardware? I play third? No, you yeah, no. It's going to be pretend Kim. No. Okay, well, look, you've got them on the team. You drafted this team, Sunshine. It's not my fault you've only got one flipping reserve outfielder. Okay. The cheese can't play center field. All right. Come on, Kim. Prove the doubters wrong. Kim there endeavoring to prove the outers wrong. Hits it foul. And that one. All right. Well, she's making contact. That's something. No, no, no. Kim. Dear me. Oh, dear me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, Kim. What are you doing on the team? Uh, okay. She's gone. Here comes Scratchy McHenry. All right. Scratchy. Uh, he did just enough on his last at bat to make amends for his first at bat, which was not great, and his second at bat, which was a disaster. Whoa! That one's gone some distance. It's gone that distance foul, but it went there. Yeah. All right, settle in. Yeah, all right. Settle in. All right, three balls, one strike. Should have left it. Didn't leave it. Going to be caught. Scratchy McHenry cheapens. Cheapens it for all of us. Uh, and that's two outs, and here comes Coral. BDP may be lacking composure and indeed focus, having lost Richard Yardline. But what are you going to do? Well, get your focus back. Oh, yeah. Coral. Nope. Nope. Not today. Not today. Not in this inning. At the end of six, it is all square. Eight all. Well, you wanted a run fest. Here it is. And I hope you like runs. We seem to have an abundance. Uh, Shandy Worthless next up. Jeff Conservative to face off against him. Shandy came in with a 500 batting average. He's now batting 467. He'll be very disappointed, but it's only going to get worse for him. 
Jeff has pitched two, three innings now? Two. Two full innings. Um, and has only pitched third, 14 times. Just saying. Yeah. Let's try, and, let's try and get Shandy. I don't think he will. He's got good contact. And Shandy swings to the fence. Coral's out there looking at it. And it's gone. Worthless sticks it out of the flaming rock. Traitor. Okay, here comes the pitcher. They may take her out. They might keep her in. She looks very confident batting. I don't know why. I wouldn't be confident batting if it was Jeffy Boy Conservative on the other side of the uh, equation. Uh, Jeffy Boy Conservative throwing a ball there. And he's just given up a single. Jeff, what's the problem? There's something wrong with Jeff. Jeff has developed malware. Uh, here's Chris Biscuit. They've got a runner on first, and that runner is a pitcher. What is going on? Come on, Jeff, get your mojo back, son. That's good. That's good. Chubbs, Chubbs. Get out there and catch it. You big dingus. There you go. All right, first out. Nothing to see here. It's all fine. It's all good. It's all fine. It's okay. Here's Robin Pensioner, who is lacking in confidence despite the fact that he has a home run today. Uh, he needs an extra therapy session. Cindy gets that. There's one, and there's the other. All right, okay, yeah. No, normal service resumed there quite quickly. Uh, you're keeping Jeff in. He's got another inning in him. Or do you want to batter? <sighs> he got on base last time. Hang on, I'm, I'm thinking. He was probably quite lucky to get on last time. All right, let's bring in the cheese. Uh, okay, yeah, sub him. Cheese, let's go. All right, the cheese is on. All right, don't do worse than Jeff would have done pitching. Taking Jeff off is a, uh, that's a deeply strategic move. Ball three, three balls in a row. All right, that's nice. And there's a walk. Okay, all right. Okay. Yeah. Keeps Jeff fresher for another game. That was me thinking. All right, Cindy, how do you fancy hitting one? Uh, it would be it would be super if you did feel like it. I mean, I f I feel like watching you hit one. So, well, I mean, obviously, if the ball comes your way. Yeah. That's three in a row again. What's going on with this pitcher who is very confident but has given up two walks in a row? Well, I don't know. I, I don't. I couldn't tell you. Here's Cookie. She's having a solid afternoon so far. Uh, can she build on that? Well, the answer is yes, but the question is, will she? That's two balls in a row again. What? This pitch is broken. <laughs> yeah. Now I'm going to let you throw another one. The odds are in my favour. Strike two. All right, Cookie, dial it in. Oh, come on! That was clearly not going through the strike zone. And Cookie strikes out. Steve Mori up. All right, one out now. And what was looking like a surefire winning inning. Hang on. Hold everything. And... The big lad spanks it! Oh, yes! He has ripped the trousers off that ball. And, uh, and gone, I'm going to need the next size up as he hits it out of the park. Steve Morrie with his first home run of the season. And that's the ticket. That's the business. Uh, that's the monkey right there. Here's Val Hammock. And she's deployed the Mind Weevils on a pitcher who doesn't seem to need them. Uh, all right. One ball, one strike. And uh, BDP leading for the first time today. Uh, whoa, nearly takes one to the kneecap there. And uh, we're going to have to get a steward's inquiry on that one. Yeah, yeah, foul that one off. That one was, we were unclear. Yeah. That one, however, splits the infield. And Valerie, having taken up an inordinate amount of pitches there, gets herself on first. There's still only one out in this inning. Uh, here's Chubb's Beaver. All right, the Beaver. Yeah. Yeah. All right. It's the Beaver. And they're Number done. Uh, Willa Bologna is done. They're bringing in Charlie Two Shots, who's knackered. And, uh, and already below par. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Yep. 
Well, it won't take much to wear her out then. Yeah, I know, but they're not. We're not deep enough into their ball pen for them to really worry yet. Uh, but even so, we will continue with the tried and tested format of get them tired. Chubbs, what are you doing? Chubbs, come on, man. Mind in the game, son. Mind in the game. That's not bad. Is it going to drop? No, it's not. Okay. Chubb, Chubbs didn't pull it off. And uh, that's two outs. Runner on first and pretend Kim up to bat. Come on, Kim. Get your first hit of the season. It might be your last. Well, she swings at the first pitch, which was arguably going wide there. There's strike two. Come on, Kim. Come on, Kim. Come on, Kim. Yeah, I didn't like it. Kim, don't be twitchy about it. Oh, for crying out loud. An off-speed pitch there. Catching out the flipping me. Yeah. <laughs> right, who are we bringing in? Santino's already a bit tired. Uh, Wobbly's up for it. I really want a good pitcher, though. They've only got to do one inning. Because then you can bring in Quebec if we're ahead. True. Uh, Big Gunlord's Leviathans. He's all over the place. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with him, but it's bad. Wobbler. I mean, or Santino. Santino's a little bit more reliable. Wobbler is not very good. Let's go Wobbler. We've got a two-run lead. Uh, at the end of seven, BDP up 11 to nine. Uh, Kim is thieving a wage on this team and I have to say I think we might be going shopping after this one Kim is bringing absolutely nothing to the party here's St. Crabthorn facing off against Homer Wobbleboard alright come on Homer just keep it simple and oh what a catch Cindy Vapid oh my goodness me and you thought that catch earlier on from Coral was good nothing Nothing compared to that play by Cindy flipping vapid. You can forgive her batting today. That's the one. That's the uh, that's the paycheck right there. Cindy ruddy flying, flying through the air, making plays that shouldn't be possible. Uh, that's the stuff. All right, all right, Homer. All right, let's see if we can't uh, can't do it. Let's go. That one's gone straight to Chubbs. Chubbs will throw it straight to first. And that's the second out. The right field, okay, two outs. Here's the old the clumsy. And Wobbler might get through his one inning. You never know. Uh, all right, let's go. That's a little on the low side there. Decent amount of speed on the pitch, but it was just a little bit off target, as was that one. Don't give up. No, for crying out loud. Don't give up a walk. All right. There you go. Yeah. If you give him something he can hit, the worst that will happen is he gets a run. And that one's going to land foul, but that's two strikes at least. Just put this one on target. Just put it on target. Nothing else matters. It's off target. But they've gone for it anyway. Scratchy's picked it up. We'll run it back to first. And Homer Wobbleboard somehow manages to uh, maintain the duck egg in the eighth. Which means that we can round them off with Quebec. Okay, all right. However, I would quite like to add another one or two runs, if it's all the same to you. Uh, let's go, Scratchy McHenry. Charlie Two Shots is history. They're bringing in closing pitcher Xavier Sensation. This is fine, because we're going to burn through this, dude. Closers typically have 10 to 15 pitches before they're useless. Uh, and we'll take them. Nice hits. Scratchy gets on base. All right. Good, 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 good. Here comes Coral. Coral looking for a little bit more success than she's been having so far today. One of four. Um, but, you know, that's still better than Cindy. <laughs> yeah. Star batter Cindy Vapid. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. All right. No rush, Coral, but that was two strikes. Okay. That one's off target. Yeah. Yeah. Coral, it's a short one, and she's going to kill everybody. And she has. Well done, Coral. Good effort. So solid work. Homer, sit down. We're going to get through... Uh, no, wrong buttons. Substitute. All right, take the strike. Sub him. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, what are you doing over here? I don't know. Apparently, I'm substituting for them. 
I didn't know I could do that. No, you, you press the button so many times. Oh, yeah, right, okay, substitute. Uh, Druid. Druid. Okay. Let's go. First chance to look at the chicken, Druid. Nice. Number 92. All right. Strike two. Yeah, I know. You're not getting much of a warm-up time. There's ball one. The chicken, Druid. And it's a low bouncer to center field. Chicken Druid comes off the bench and delivers, but that's still two outs with just a runner on first. But here's Cindy. She's got two walks. That's what she's contributed to the game. And a really nice catch. And a really nice catch. Yeah. And that one's fouled off. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Yeah. Hang it in there. Hanging it in there. That one's in the dirt. Yeah. Come on, Cindy. Come on, Cindy. No, Cindy has still yet to deliver. She's, you know, she's decided to make this game as tense as possible. Uh, right, Quebec's coming in. All right, Quebec, you know what to do. Fewer than two runs, please. Fewer than two. Here's Jeremy Nugget. He's had a day. He's had a day. He's three of four. Um, nothing spectacular from that three or four, but he's playing the way that we like to play, which is get a bunch of singles and the rest takes care of itself. Here we go. Strike one. Okay, good. That's good. Strike two. Yeah, go on, come on, come on, come on. Get him with the off speed. Whoa! That, was, <laughs> that one's got some movement. <laughs> okay, yeah. I did throw it straight down the middle, but I was hoping that the off-speededness following two good fastballs would catch him out. It didn't. How about no. The short stuff, number yeah. 21. <laughs> so, I, mean, I mean, that one got out of here in a hurry. Uh, okay, all right. Come on, Quebec. All right, settle in. Let's just, let's just try and hold this together. We do still have... I mean, we're batting second, so we can still... We can still pull something together here. That one is fair. Oh, no. Yeah. All right. That's a double. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> oh. Is Sandy home run worthless? Okay. No out so far. Runner on second. All right. Just pitch. Don't try and be clever. I'm going to continue to try to be clever. Oh, God. That one's gone skyward, but it's gone backward. Right. Okay. Still, there's two strikes. Try it again, but this time position your pitch a little bit better. All right. How about that? That'll do. Nope, that's not done it. All right. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Now something along these lines. There it is. All right. Quebec gets a strikeout. Finally. Here comes the pitcher who they're going to sub. Yep, it's Pingu Pacific six. coming in. Well, they I mean, they've got to get a, another run. Uh, so uh, they're bringing in Pacific, who can hit it out of the park, given half a chance. Quebec is starting to tire. That's okay, though. It is okay. Yeah, that one's a little bit too down the middle. Yeah, all right. Let's try and put this one away a bit. That's better. No, not caught out on the sinker. No. That's a big sinker. No, that one's fouled off as well. Okay. All right. That's solid. Hey! Quebec gets a second strikeout. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. Uh, worthless wasn't actually that worthless for BDP. His batting average was only in the low 350s. Uh, but he did lead the team for home runs. Right up until Cookie took that title off him late in the season. All right. Let's, uh, let's, let's show time this. Come on, Quebec. And all of the defenders. Oh, dear, that's not a good pitch. No. All right. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Strike two. All right. This is the one. Good pitch. There it is. Quebec strikes out three to save the universe at the end of the ninth. Woo! What a game. That was a game. Oh, yes. That's the stuff. A bulldozer power victory against the odds. Uh, the question's going to become how badly injured is uh, is Richard Yardline? Sure, hey, full, hey, that's the stuff. That's what you want. That'll wake you up. 
It certainly will. Final score, Bulldogs power 11. Colonel score 10. <laughs> oh, dear. And it's mostly, I would say, thanks to the pitching prowess of Jeffy Boy Conservative, uh, who really came in and delivered there. We went through the reserves there. Nice. Ah, the win goes to Jeff Conservative, who gets his second win of the season. Uh, Bubbles has got an ERA of 20 in that game. Ouch. Quebec uh, gets the save. Lovely work there. Techno Card took five bucks in the bucket. Thank you very much. Uh, now that's a game. That is a game. My goodness me. When we get a game, it's great. Steve Murray, a number one star of the day. Four out of five from his at-bats and a monster home run that delivered just when we needed it. Yes, sir. There it is. Uh, the odds on the double win are now up to 43%. It was at 40 there for a while. I sense some of you coming off the fence. Uh, hey. Right, we've got some CPU games to activate, so let's. Yeah, don't care about them that much. Uh, there's the Pathfinders rinsing the fire chefs. Easy peasy. Grunt Auto Group, we want them to lose. They're not gonna, though. Nope, 9-2 against the Steganauts. Uh, Shady Palms over the Ov City. Axemen goes to extra innings, and Ov have got it. Space Agency now against the Fun Boost. Uh, also extra innings, but the Space Agency lighten it up. The Wizards against the Toy Masters is a Wizards victory. The Marsupials now against Lingo Blend. Uh, down in the 3-2 and two bracket. Uh, that was quite solid. Didn't see who won, but it was probably good. Off City Axe men beat the budget roadies. Then Grazer Ridge lost to the Beekeepers. Nomads now against Cheerio Incorporated. Cheerio making it look easy. 6-2. The Medics against Stardos are human resources. And the Medics have lit up a big score. 12-3 final. Picks Creek Miners against Peninsula Transport is a win for the train set. Uh, Pathfinders now against the Minstrels. 10 0 to the Minstrels. Holy mackerel. The Chroniclers uh, lose to the Vuvu Boys and the Steganauts in action again against Sportsball Union. And the Steganauts putting up a big enough score there to achieve victory. Fire Chefs now, Failurewood Hills. Uh, Fire Chefs, the newer franchise coming up the victory. Colonel School looking to redeem themselves, win 3 1 over Shady Palms. Grunt Auto Group in action again. Win one nothing over the Pirates. What a load of rubbish. Uh, John has chucked uh, 10 bucks in the bucket for the comeback. Thanks, John. Uh, loving your work. Well, loving your money. And that counts too. Uh, so here are the tables at the current time. Uh, Grunt Auto Group 4-2. and two. Bulldozer Power currently 3-2. and two. A win here makes us look good. We're up against the Sea Raiders who are currently 2-3. and three. A win for them will keep their season on track. A win for us will ensure that we're not at 500, which is what we really, really want. Jeff with his boats is in action. Okay. Now, for those of you who were around earlier in the season, Jeff with his boats started brightly and then was brutally murdered by a pitch. So, let's see if he can hold this together. Oh, no. Yeah. Yeah, their, their lead batter is Zoltan Zoltan. Oh, no. Yeah, he's really good. Yeah, he's really, really good. Okay, all right. Mm. All right, let's do it. Yeah, let's do this. Yeah, let's... Are you ready? Yeah, yeah, we're up for it. We're, we're doing it. We're into it. Oh, my giddy aunt. We might lose Steve Morrie as well. Oh, this does not bode well. No. Oh, I'm not duly bloody hardware. I mean... Steve could probably play this game. He's in a positive frame of mind, which is why you ought to keep him in. Yeah, Yardy will sub. Yeah, okay. Uh, okay, yeah, yeah, substitute. It's going to have to be JT. Well, JT's good. His, his fielding isn't all that. No, but he can hit, and that counts for a lot. Okay, yeah. Do you want to keep Steve in? <laughs> Julie Hardware's rubbish. Yeah, he is. He is rubbish. Ah, uh, yeah. Do you think you've got the talent on the field without Steve? Uh, I mean, we're gonna we're gonna have to play our backup at some point. He's already strained. Yeah. All right. Let's do it. Oh no. Yeah. Okay. It's Julius Hardware. So if we lose this game, you'll know why. Uh, right. Let's change the batting order. Yeah, we definitely don't want him at three. Oh, God, no. Um, Chubb's had a terrible game. He did have a terrible game. You're not wrong. 
let's put him at six. Let's put Julie at three. Uh, right. Yeah, he's out of position. Yeah, but I mean, all my outfielders are out of pigging position. I don't have someone whose natural second position is a is centre field. Yeah, you know what we're doing after this game is we're going shopping for another centre fielder. Yeah, a utility outfielder, a utility outfielder with centre field as their as their prime objective. Yeah, you want to change anything else up? No. No, Scratchy's had a decent run of it so far. So he can kind of, he can hold together this shower of rubbish that we've got at the bottom end. Yeah, I'm not confident. I am not confident. Not in our offense. Not in our offense. No. Yeah. Oh, okay. well. Okay. Well, we're at home again, so that's something. Yeah. It's game time. Nice. Let's we're welcoming him onto the field with the big lads. The big lads all going out. Going, hello, we're a bunch of big lads. Zoltan's there and he goes, I'm a big lad as well. I should be on a big lad too. You know, Zoltan, Zoltan's a centre fielder. Oh, yeah. No, oh, he used to play for us. He was replaced by Richard Yardline, who has delivered, but is now injured. Here's Prawn Jock in what is probably his first at bat of the season. All right. Okay, Boatsy. Try and stay in the game for a bit longer this time, would you? Yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, I mean, only stay in the game if you're going to be any good. They hit the first pitch of the day. And Johnny Touchdown gets his first touch. Nice. Look at the shape of the stats of this big fella. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. Good pitch. Cindy can't quite pull off a monster. That's a double, and that's trouble. Yeah. Okay. We're going behind early, it seems. They're going for flipping home. Chubbs will throw it in there, but it's already done. Well, okay. Don't worry too much about it. Here's Mike Heimlich. Yeah. Alright. They do like the first pitch. Then I'll make the first pitch really difficult. Good pitch there, Jeff. Nice. Yeah. Alright. Go on. That one's only gone as far as Cindy. She doesn't know where to throw it. I, don't, I didn't know if they still had a runner on first. It escaped my moment. There. Did it? Yes, it did. Uh, Blue Jester's chucked a fiver in the bucket. Thank you very much. Big lad energy. We do like the big lads in this place, uh, which is fortunate because that's what we've got. All right, Jeff. Go on, son. Sling it. Good speed on the fastball. Uh, we do have a lot of faith in Jeff with his boats. He was great for the like one and a half innings he played in his debut, um, but then he was murdered, and uh, and that sucked. It's a good pitch. Fouled off. Uh, are they going to hit? No, no. Has, the Vera's only got mediocre um, contact. Another good pitch. He's really placing these nicely. Despite the fact that his accuracy, allegedly, is not all that. Ooh, <laughs> you almost went for it, though. Yeah, but this is taking too long. Yeah, it is. That one's gone into the dugout. Stop wasting my time. All right. Just stick one in. That's a great pitch. These are some great pitches. Uh, never mind the run into home. Never mind. Just take the out. Probably could have gotten, or at least made them reverse course, but we wouldn't have someone out. Uh, here's Mr. Smithers. All right. Yeah. 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 And he's, he's hit the toffee out of that one, but he's not hit all the toffee out of it. There's still some left, and Johnny's got that. Three outs. And off two hits, they got two runs, which is a little disappointing. Um, but it's not unusual for us to fall behind in the first inning. We didn't in the last game. No, we didn't. But that's hardly the point. What is the point? We're batting. Uh, here comes Cindy looking for revenge against herself. For she let us all down last week, apart from one really good catch. Kit Kats pitching uh, for the Sea Raiders. Certainly seems to have solid numbers. Yeah. All right. Cindy pops one up and she'll be going to sit back down again. All right, okay. Yeah. All right. Here comes Cookie, who did not let us down last week. No, Cookie played it and played it well with vigor and enthusiasm, which is what we're looking for from everybody. Vigor and enthusiasm in equal measure. Cookie will also get out. Okay, early doors. It happens. 
can't say that I've not warmed up because I have. All right, Johnny Touchdown is our last best hope for peace. Uh, there he is, looking sombre and uh, waiting for a pitch he feels is his. He felt that one was his, but he felt it rather too late. Ask, okay, you can foul one off when you've already got two strikes against you. Big sinker there was well off target. And that one's well off target. Yeah. That one was well off target. There's the full count. And Johnny will be caught as well. Okay, there you go. All right. Yeah. Still took six pitches off him, and that counts for something at this early stage. At the end of one, BDP trail 2 0. His tasty day has a home run this season, but isn't that much of a batter if you were to go by his numbers on his uh, on his trading card. Chubbs trots over, picks it up, throws it to first, and that's the first out. That's better. Everybody settle. Calm. You know, we want to see some good decisions and positive play. Enthusiasm and energy. That's what I want from you. That's what's written on the side of your thing. I don't know. It's written on the side of something. Cindy trots over for that one and says, it's all right, I've got it. And she does. Two outs. Nobody on bases. Burn the dunk. Boo. Boo. Floppy head, useless git. Burn a dunk. Uh, well, we he's playing with Zoltan now. Yeah. Flipping traitor. He's not a traitor. He's rubbish. That's why you got rid of him. Oh, yeah, that's right. He was temporarily good, but then wasn't. Yes. Yeah, and that's why we killed him. True. I mean, that we decided to back him up with Julie Hardware must have been a bit of an insult. Yeah, Cookie's going to have to make a move on this, and she's got it. There we go. There we are. And there you go. Three up, three down. Solid. Okay, now we're coming into the dubious area of our batting. Okay, Valerie Hammock first up. All right, Val. All right, come on, Val. Let's go. Get the mind weevils out. Let's do this. Uh, monkey with a cerebellum. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. Okay. One and one counts. Valerie waiting for something likable. Yeah. All right. That isn't it. No. Nice hit from Val Hammock, and that's going to get her on to second. Uh, lovely. That's the kind of play you want. And that's the kind of play we just got. Uh, solid. Right, Chubbs. Let's, let's see something, Chubbs. You're batting th a third. For crying out loud, Chubbs. You're better than that. You're, you move Mr. Reliable. Could work. It worked. No, get back, get back, get back, get back. Oh, for crying out loud. Why didn't the get back button work? Well, that's out. Oh, I was pressing it. I was pressing the get back button and she didn't. Val had already decided to go for it and then got herself out. Here's Julie Hardware. It's a good hit, though. It's a double. <laughs> Julie Hardware makes an impact. Yeah. And we're going for it again. It's going to be close. We <laughs> are. Hey, Troy. Hey, Core. Cool. Well, riding the luck there a little bit. I mean, that makes up for Valerie just not responding to instructions after she's already set off for home. It's Scratchy McHenry. Okay. All right. Settle down. This play is, I would say, rather too energetic and maybe arguably a little bit too enthusiastic. All right. Come on, Scratchy. Let's do it. Let's go. Goes for a low one, which is not going to work in his favor, but we will get a runner on to third. Okay. Coral, a base hit. A base hit. Please, Coral. Okay, yeah. Right. There's no rush, though, Coral. Okay, yeah. Yeah, this pitcher seems to be having a little bit of trouble finding the mark. A lot of trouble finding the mark. All the trouble finding the mark. Coral there gets a walk. Runners at the corners now. And Jeff with his boat, who can bat... Is gonna. All right, Jeff. Base hit, son, please. Yeah. A, a base hit, and we tie this up. So, you know, there it is. Whoa, wee, whoa, whoa. What were you swinging at there? Two strikes. 
Jeff with his boats does not achieve success. He has boats, he doesn't have a run. Nah, poo. At the end of two, Bulldozer Power looking somewhat lively, uh, but the score is still not in their favour. 2 1, Riss Raiders have the lead. And here comes their pitcher for a bit of an at bat moment. Yeah, yeah. Okay. But you know what? What? It's uh, it's nice to see that the, the dubious end of the batting order actually managed to deliver there. Yes, I'll allow that. Yeah, all right. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now, do the same again. Jeff with his boats claims the name. And that's the first out is Prawn Jock. All right. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right, let's, let's do this. Beautiful piece of work there. Jeff with his boats, 97 miles an hour. Uh, that's two off paces. Stick one outside a, a million miles away from being on target. No, that's not gonna. That, no, no, that one's nope, up there. No, that that's not it. No, try try one that's. No, that's not it either. Come on, Jeff, pull it together, son. Uh, I mean, I know accuracy isn't your thing, but it would be nice if. Uh, if you could put enough on target that we could get them out. Uh, right, that one's fouled off. Settle in, son. Just throw a ball. There you go. Scratchy. Over his head. Okay. Yeah. Cookie with the throw to second. No, it's not close. Okay. Now batting the center fielder. Boo. Here comes Zoltan. Zoltan, he's a hell of a player. I mean, I was very sad that we couldn't get him in the foundation draft for this team. Uh, one of my favoured players is Zoltan. Uh, but uh, not anymore, because he plays for the opposition. And he split the difference there. Cookie will throw straight to home. You're not sneaking in a run. Nice one, Hardware, you putts. Now back, the base. Mike Heimlich Number next 66. up. He likes the first throw. Uh, well, I mean, the way that Jeff throws, you might like all of them. There you go. There's the steal attempt. Hardware's got a noodle arm and gives it up. Okay. All right. Not that it really matters. Oh, well, it does, actually, because that's that's put the double play out of our range. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so we now need proper outs. Yeah, okay. Not just catches. If, if I could just rely on a catch. Well, you can't. That's the bad pitch. But it's somehow we got away with it. Oh, Jeff. Nope, he's fouled that off. Well, that could have been worse. Come on, Jeff. Come on. Come on, Jeff. Show me some flipping magic, son. Show me some magic. I thought that was a war. Should have been. It was that far off target. But that's two outs. Which means that a catch now does the magic. All right, here's Vera Contagion, who's a decent, no, a very decent player. Oh, dear. Yeah. Val. Val's got it and chucks it home. Oh, hey, hey, hey. Oh, a defensive turnaround there. Defensive turnarounds. Fortunate, because that was looking well dangerous, but ended up being fine. Here comes Cindy. All right. Okay, let's go, Cindy. Yeah. Get us a hit. <laughs> You're overdue by a long way. Yeah. You're paying a big fine on your hit library book. And that's not it. Nope. <clears throat> Cookie is up next. All right, okay. Yeah. All right. Come on, Cookie. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Yarg. Well, a yard indeed, and uh, a nice hit over to uh, left field. Puts Cookie on first. Here comes JT. Didn't uh, didn't on his first, but he might on this one. You know, that's that's all we really want. And he nutmegs the pitcher, and he's off to the races. Uh, one and two now loaded up with one out, which means it could all be over when uh, when things are inevitably all over. Uh, here's Val. All right, Val. Val did almost well on her first at bat. She got a double and then ran herself out trying to steal home. Well, not so much steal home as just kind of trot in there when everyone was expecting her to. She's done it, though. That's a good one. That's a base hit. Bases are now loaded for BDP, which means that Chubbs could get everybody out. 
Well, he'll never do that. Not good old reliable Chubbs. Surely not. Surely Chubbs Beaver won't give up a double play. No. Surely not. No. Take your time, Chubbs. Don't swing at something stupid. Don't don't give up two outs. Get it past the infield and all is not lost. Alright, three balls, one strike. That's not bad. Oh, Forster, bad piece of fielding. Everyone gets in, and there's the tying run. Here comes Judy Hardware. Well, he's batting a thousand so far this season. Shut up. Yeah, I know. <laughs> All right, that was that was probably a good one to swing at there, Julie. I'll do that one instead. Julie Hardware with another base hit. Whoa! Ah, and Billy Piff taking the leads. Oh, yeah. His Scratchy McHenry. Remember, just one double play and it's all over. Scratchy, just one double play, which is not what we want. Hit it beyond the infield, please. Okay, doesn't matter if you get caught. Just get it beyond the infield. Uh, right, yeah. Come on. All right, ball two, strike one. Kit Kat's looking tired, looking a bit tense. Scratchy, he has got it beyond the infield. And we're off to the races very, very slowly. And that will be that then. <laughs> Idiotic. <coughs> oh, I take full responsibility for that. That was just stupid. <laughs> uh, however, at the end of three, we're leading three to two. Not that we deserve it, but there it is anyway. Here's Mr. Smithers now facing off against uh, Jeff and his armada. Alright. Yeah. Okay, let's let's do this. Okay. Good pitch. Uh, okay. Yeah. 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 Hardware will trundle over there to try and catch it. Val was running into support going, I don't believe he's going to catch it. I don't, I don't think he'll catch that. But he did. No, no. Hardware actually caught the ball. Whew. Right, who's this? This is Tasty Dave, uh, whose uh, batting prowess is not rated as tasty. Doesn't mean he won't get a hit, just means that he shouldn't. Oh, oh, that was very tasteful. It was very tasteful. Uh, right, stick one in there. Yep. Okay, and then ping one in there. No, no, no. Oh, well, he swung at it anyway. Yep. You're an idiot, Tasty Dave. That's what they say. Yeah, it's a well, well-renowned Peanuts comic. Uh, here's Jessica Therapy. What's she done for us so far? I don't really know, but uh, they've got two outs, and uh, Mr. Boats is continuing to pitch reasonably well. No, better than reasonably well. Yeah, he's pitching good. He is pitching good. Uh, he's missing quite a lot, but he's not accurate, so that's fine. He also hasn't been hit by the ball yet. Give it time. Yeah, all right. Great pitch. And that's a strikeout. And Mr. Boats delivers. Uh, okay. All right, here we go. Bring it in. Regal's saying don't jinx it. But uh, frankly, what I know here for a fact is that it genuinely doesn't matter what I say. Jinxes will occur anyway. Here's Coral. She walked her first. And uh, Kit Kats is looking tense. Uh, is she looking tired? Yep. Good. And that was straight up the middle. Coral with a much needed base hit. Excellent. Lovely. Good. Excellent. Excellent. Lovely. Good. Excellent. And lovely. Here's Jeff. He's come to bat. He didn't succeed first time, which is unfortunate because he can bat. But uh, let's see if we can uh, see if we can just get him a number. Hang on. <laughs> he's, he's gone for it. Oh! Oh! Denied. Jeff and his boats almost hit it out in the park. I'm not even bitter about him being caught there. That was so close to being a home run. Wow. Yeah, that was great. He's still out, though. I know. Oh, what a shame. Here comes Cindy. Come on, Cindy. Get us back in this one, would you? Uh, well, I mean, we're leading, but get us back in it anyway. Cindy. Nice. It's a rare base hit for Cindy Vapids. Runners now first and second. Uh, one out, and we're in the top part of the order is Cookie. Fielder, All right, Cookie. 
You know where we are. You know what we're doing. Yeah. Right. Take your time. Take your time. Don't run. Whoa! Hey! Oi! Charge the mound. Uh, ball two. There's ball three. Uh, right. Yeah. And there's a walk. The bases are loaded. Okay. All right. Here's Johnny touchdown. Got himself a single so far today. All right. All right, JT. All right. All right, son. Keep it simple. Just don't get everyone out, please. Okay? Yeah. Oh! Hey! Oh! That was a ball. And, that was the one I wanted. Can I have that one again, please? Bit high. He's going to be out. Everybody get back. Everybody get back. Everybody get back. All right. Okay. It right, falls to Val. Val's having a decent run of it so far. Double and a single. Two for two. The mind weevil's working, and this picture is looking wearisome. It's not good enough. Oh, I thought it might just squeak past the shortstop. Um, fabulous piece of defending there from the Sea Raiders. And uh, at the end of four, it's still 3-2. Bulldozer Power just having the lead. Oh, no, that was, that was it. That's where I lost it. That's, that's where this game was lost. Right there. That moment. Yeah. Yeah. Here's the evil doer Bernard Dunk. Yeah. All right. Just, just kill him, Jeff. Just kill him. Good push. All right. Okay. Yeah. Settle in. Defense. He's gone for it. Julie, chuck it. No, not to third, you clown. The reason I threw it to third there was mentally I said the base is over there and my thumb did it. So I don't hate my thumb for doing that. That's not bad uh, muscle work there, but it is first base is always first base no matter which way the camera's facing. Unfortunate, but I'm not, I'm not bitter about it. Yeah. Because that shows that even an old man still has muscle memory that sort of responds to what you want. Sort of. Yeah, mostly. They're not going to try and steal. He's way too slow. There you go. Julie Hardware there with a quick diving catch. I mean, it wasn't a difficult one. Um, but there you go. Yeah. All right. One out. One on. Prawn Jock. Double. Single. He's playing well. Uh, but. That, uh, yeah. No, never mind. But just just, just do, the, do the thing. Do the thing with the throwing the ball thing. All right, there it is. That's a bit easy. Yeah, it is. Bad pitch leads to home run. Yes. Okay. All right. There you go. Oh, knickers. Yeah, yeah. Oh, knickers indeed. And the Sea Raiders are back in front. Here comes Zoltan. Still only one out, and now the bases are empty again. Uh, yeah, and that was a bad pitch. I gave that up. That was that was that was all on me. You know, that, there was there was nothing tricky about that one. That was an easy smash. Uh, right. Yeah. Val, lovely. Whip it. Swank. Good. Okay. Yeah. Change the picture. Too early to change the picture. What are you talking about? Where are we? Top of the fifth. That's nice, fine. And he's got plenty of must gut mustard. Left in his mustard cannon. Uh, so, no, he's fine. No need to, Again, down the middle. Uh, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Um, right. That's nice. Oh, yeah, you oh, almost bit on that. Uh, all right. Try that one. That's not going to work. He swung anyway. Yeah, what a muppet. Um, right. That's nice. No, nope, he's hit that too. This is one of their best hitters. Yes. Sorry, right, there's nobody on. If he gets a home run, it's That's only right. one run. I suppose, but we'd rather he didn't get a home run. Yeah, we'd rather he just hit it to the infield. Just hit it to the infield, son. Hey, how much easier do you want it? You useless sack of lard. Come on. I'm, you are vexing me, sir. There you go. Yeah, you crap at baseball. Now piss off. Uh, now, good. Right, there we go. I apologise for that, but you earned it. 
Right, good. Here comes Chubbs Beaver to try and get us Our back in again. Number 28. Yeah. All right, come on, Chubbs. All right, take your time. We've almost burned through this picture. They're going to make a change soon. Nice hit from Chubbs, but he will be out. Yeah. Right, okay. Yeah, here comes Fluky Hardware. <laughs> yeah, just, I don't know. I, don't, I couldn't tell you. Can Julie Hardware deliver the unexpected? Well, he already has twice. Can he deliver the unexpected three times in a row? Yes. He's on base again. <laughs> He's rubbish. Hello, B's here. Number 22. <coughs> and he appears to mean some business. Yeah. He can't catch worth a damn. No, he really can't. But, uh, but apparently hitting is not phasing him so much today. He's three for three. He's in line for star player. If he does anything spectacular, he might get it. Yeah. Okay, strike one, ball two. Uh, Scratchy McHenry waiting for something that he likes. There's strike two. Kit Kat's looking extremely tired. Oh, that one was high. Uh, ball three. McHenry with a base hit. Excellent. Excellent. Okay, good. Uh, yeah. Uh, here comes Coral. She's won on a walk today. One and a walk. I should enunciate a little better. My apologies. Kit Kat's is toast. They're bringing in Alonzo Hotty. Uh, he's got a demon fastball, but not a lot else. All right. Okay, I like that. Yeah, he is fully, uh, fully stamina'd. So uh, we're going to be seeing a bit of him, unless I kill him early. Oh, crikey. Do you want a better pitch? Because you're not getting one. But you never, you never swing at the first pitch from a new pitcher. That's foolish talk. Yeah. See, look, he's got three off target now. Yeah. Okay. All right, here we go. No, sir. <laughs> okay. The double play there, dealing damage. Well, the leaders changed hands at the bottom of the fifth. And uh, the Sea Raiders now lead this one 4-3. to three. BDP having all the hits, but they are not able to capitalise after some stupid mistakes. Number six. Just the stupidest. Yeah. All right, Jeff, I'm going to let you uh, two hits. All right? Okay, give up two hits. And that's only because I know my relievers are a little more tired than I'd like. Yeah. If the conservative was ready now, we'd use... Oh dear. Nope, swung at that one as well. All right, okay, fine. Good pitch. That's high, but Cookie should make it over in time. Dives, catches. Booyah! That's three great pieces of fielding from the BDP defense today. Uh, amazing scenes. Um, here comes Mr. Smithers. That was... That was... You know who would have made it? Yardy. Yeah, because Yardy moves like Grease Lightning. Uh, but that's why he plays centre field. It is why he plays centre field. Because he can he can cover great distances uh, simply by thinking about it and then running that way. All right, okay. Okay. Whew, yeah, all right. Come on, Jeff, get him. Oh, dear. No, it's fine. He can't hit worth anything. Right. Swing. Idiot. All right. There we go. In fact, that's what the pitcher should do. He should throw the ball and just go, swing! <laughs> and that'll put him off again. They'll go, what? Oh, crikey. Uh, oh, no, I've swung at something that was landing in the car park. There you go. Yeah, Jeff, you're looking a little bit flimsy here, son. He's going, yeah, I know, but I've got two outs. Come on, let me finish it. All right, but just don't, don't poach this for us, Jeff. We're already behind, and it's not your fault. Eee, another bad pitch. And that one's gone foul. He escaped, escaped that one. All right. Just come on. Come on, Jeff. There you go. Oh, yes. Jeff with his boats taking a strike out to round out his afternoon. I'm going to sit him, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Benwood cheesecakes. Benwood cheesecakes. All right. Okay. Yeah, I know you can hit, Jeff, but you've had two goes and you've missed on both of them. All right. So I'm going to bring Benwood in. Uh, would it not be advisable to save Benwood for when you don't have a hitter? I've still got the Druid. 
All right. And if in the case of emergency, wounded people. Not Kim. Not Kim. Okay. All right, cheese. Let's go. The cheese is in. All right. Come on, Benny. Let's go. Whoa. Hey. Whoa. Ah. Ooh. There you go. Benny Cheese with a nice slapper. Uh, that's uh, that's done the deal. Uh, signed the contracts and uh, and made the sale. Here comes Cindy. All right, Cindy. Let's have your second hit of the day, please. That's uh, that's what we're chasing. Yeah. Ten pitches into Alonzo Hottie's arm. Cindy. Oh, it's a beaut. Straight down the line. I don't think the cheese has got the pace, so we're going to leave him on second. Cindy certainly had the pace to make a double there, but uh, the cheese, not so much. Uh, okay, Cookie. Let's go. We're in a good position here. And Cookie's in a very positive frame of mind. Could this be a Cookie fence hop? No, nope, it's just a base hit. Any questions? Nope, nope, I've no questions at all. Cookie there, delivering. Here comes JT. <clears throat> Alright. Yeah, yeah. Alright, JT. It's on you, son. It's on you. It's on you. Make this work. Oh, swung a little early. The off speed there didn't quite uh, sit for him. Ball one, strike one. Yeah. Again, it, was, it, was, it wasn't the fastest pitch. Yeah. That's inside. That one's inside. Two and two counts. That one's high. There's the full count. Johnny touchdown. Johnny touchdown will be out. And we'll have a run, please. Hustle, hustle, hustle. There we go. A sacrificial fly there from Johnny touchdown. Uh, and that's what? One out, two outs. One out. Valerie Hammock, runners first and second. And Alonzo Hotti has well and truly been afflicted by mind weevils. And yet somehow is able to find the target twice in a row. Ball one. Yeah. Okay. Come on, Val. I'm pretty sure that was a ball, but Val swung at it anyway, and she's gone. Overconfident in the power of the mind weevils, Valerie Hammock strikes out. Here's Chubbs Beaver. We're now with two outs and two on. Chubbs delivers. Okay. And we've rounded third because it's Cindy. And she's quick. And BDP back in the lead. Here comes Julie Phenomenon. <laughs> the Phenomenon Julie floppy haired, dingus faced hardware. And, yeah, he's done it again. I don't understand. Yeah, he's four for four. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Yeah, I know. Base is loaded up again. Scratchy McHenry hoping to extend the lead. And they're done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alonzo Hottie's out here. They're bringing in Thurk Minstrels, Bane, um, to try and settle, settle back in. Uh, Thurk is already tired. Uh, solid when he's on form, but he's not quite there. Uh, also leaving us Tasty Dave. Okay. He's leaving right field, and they're bringing in Rudy Capslock to replace him, presumably because he can hit. I mean, he's slightly better at fielding, but there's not a lot in it. No, they're both pretty bad, so presumably Capslock's a hitter. Yeah. All right, what do you got? Some kind of diagonal toss. Uh-oh! That's the end of that, then. Scratchy gets everyone out. Uh, yeah. All right, it's okay. We took the lead back. Benny, well done. All right, uh, who's in next? You know Jeff's available. Yeah, I don't want him now. But this is a close game. You've not got your A-team in. No, 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 no. You've got to believe in Santino sometimes. How's Leviathan looking? He's available, but he's bad. Yes. Okay, Santino, you're up. <clears throat> Okay, Technocard is predicting Julie Hardware for MVP already. You're wrong. Um, but at the end of six, BDP back in the lead, five to four. Well, well, <laughs> oh my goodness me. Here's Jessica Therapy. Now, can Santino Bananas build on the good works done by Jeff with his boats? Uh, don't know. Well, that's what we're going to find out, isn't it? It is. Yeah. 
Santino, not renowned for his fastball, but he's thrown him anyway because he is renowned for his Kurt. He's, three, he's off target three in a row there. Yeah. Come on, Santino. Settle, son. Settle. There you go. Right. Now, time for your big time curve. Yes. A bit of a golf swing at that one based on where the ball ended up. Yep. Oh. Oh. Oh, I felt that one. I felt that one dip at the last minute. Lovely. Um, right, Bernard Scumbag is up to bat. Oh, they're taking him off. Whoa, no, they're doing a double switch. Why would they do that? Well, this guy, he's there. He's a starting pitcher, but he can hit. Are they bringing in a pitcher to bat for Bernard Dunk? <laughs> oh, the humanity. They are. They've brought in a pitcher to bat for Bernard Dunk. Oh, I love it. Oh, that's brutal. Um, yeah, if this guy actually gets makes contact with the ball, the ball is leaving the building. And if it hits the building, the building might not make it. Yeah, great pitching, though. It is. That's two great, great pitches in a row. Do you reckon he's stupid enough to go for a fastball that isn't all that fast? Maybe. Good pitch. He's gone for it. Cookie, you reckon? Nah. Okay. Yes, the disrespect shown to, to Bernard Dunk is palpable. It's palpable disrespect. Not the best pitch there. Yeah, we want to get this guy, though. Yeah. No, he wasn't going for that. No. All right. Just... Uh, that, that'll do. Yeah. Lovely, Santino there, making the money, doing the numbers. Is Rudy Capslock, who they just brought in, and is not a good batter. No. Okay, curious choice then. Yeah, very curious. I mean, why would you bring him in? It's not like, he's, he's not better than the guy they replaced at any of the disciplines involved in baseball. Well, then he must be sleeping with the coach. Oh, yeah, that old chestnut. Yeah, well, we've all done it. Yep. Let's go. Oh, you, you've seen the, the two-strike curve coming, have you? Well, I don't have an awful lot of choice in the matter, but you struck out on something stupid there, and it's possibly because my fastball's about the same speed as my curve. Uh, anyway, good. Hasta luego, my friend. And uh, BDP come in rarely having the lead. We need to build on this. Number 19. Yeah. Okay, Coral. Take your time with this clown. Sound Leave the, the first pitch. Oh, hold on. One. Yeah, no, they're taking out their pitcher who was fielding and they're bringing in Charlie Butterscotch to do to play catcher. Solid arm, not much else. Okay. All right. Yeah. All right. Minstrel's Bane. Minstrel's nutmegged. And uh, we're off to first base. Lovely. All right, Santino's up to bat. Please hold. I want to think about it. Uh, right, you've got two innings to go. Yeah. I've got a completely fresh reliever. Yes. Uh, yeah, I've got Jeff, who is fresh enough. Yes. Quebec, maybe, could play as well. You've got three pitchers to play with. One of them's bad. One of them is bad. Right? Because Santino's not going to get on base. Well, he might get on base, but it's unlikely. More likely as he gives up two. Yeah. Bring in a batter. Bring in a batter. Have we got any batters? That's a good question. Uh, you've got a chicken druid. You've got a chicken druid. Yeah. Santino's already tired. All right, let's do it. Uh, yeah. All right, good. Yeah. Glad we had this conversation. All right, Druid, let's rock. Might have been nice to save the Druid until uh, nine, if it goes that far, but I think this is the smarter play. Oh, make it. Go, 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 go. Well, we got an extra, we got a free base there. All right. Nice one, Druid. Yeah. Okay. All right. And a base hit. That'll do nicely. Not enough pace from our lead runner, though, to get, take home. So that, that works for us nicely. And here comes Cindy. Okay. 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 Here we go. Okay. All right, Cindy. All right, Cindy. 
Uh, let's convert this. Cindy converts. There you go. There's a run. That'll do. That's the stuff. That's the ticket. Billy Pete easing gently out into the future. Here comes Cookie Peaches Wallace. Runners now first and second. No outs. All right. This is a good time for the engine to run. It is. All right. Come on. Put her on the tracks. Fire up the boiler. And deploy the power handle. And that's the bases loaded up. No outs. All right. Then, unless we really screw this up, we should get at least one more run. Unless we really screw this up. Let's not do that. Johnny, touchdown. All right, Johnny. Come on. Minstrel's Bane is already looking weak. Uh-oh. Uh that's the worst possible outcome. We lost our lead runner, but it's only... No, that's two outs. Oh, boy. Yeah. Johnny Touchdown screwed it up. Yeah. Here's Valerie Hammock. We could still get another run here. And yeah, it's looking less likely now. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's looking a lot less likely. Yeah, I know. Val! It's going to be close. It's not going to be close. Ah, flipping heck! Oh, why are you keeping me on the edge of my seat? Oh, dear. We could have put that one away. Anyway, the chicken druid came in, did the business. Ah, uh, that's nice. What do you think, Jeff? I don't want to use Jeff. I want him fresh for when I need a proper reliever. Oh, but Santino will be fresh because you only used him for one inning. Yeah. Quebec has got maybe half a dozen pitches in her. Uh, the Leviathan is our, emer in case of emergency, break. Hobble, wobble board can do some pitching. All right, Jeff, come in. Let's, you've only got to take out this one inning, Jeff, actually. All right, if you can, if you can get these done in six pitches, then we're, then we're looking lively. All right, now okay. Back, the first baseman, number 60, oh. Pron Jock. Oh, what a disaster. Yeah. Here's Pron Jock. He's got a home run today. Uh, the conservative in action two games in a row. Is our belief misplaced? We don't know yet. There it is. All right. Okay. They haven't seen a change up from it. Bless you. Uh, from anybody yet. So here it comes. Just get it on target. It's not on target. But there it is. Oh, the conservative classic. All right. One done. Jeffy boy. Ah, lovely. Here comes Zoltan. Zoltan's um, he's also been quite lively today, and he's a rally starter. Okay. Yeah, but Jeff is the, the pitcher's pitcher. Everybody loves Jeff Conservative if they're a pitcher. They kind of go, he's just too good. Zoltan's got a large piece of that one. Uh, Coral's underneath it, and that's out number two. The second baseman, number 66. Come on. Here's time waster Mike Heimlich. Uh, yeah. Okay. All right. There you go. That was your first pitch. What's the matter? Too difficult for you? I'm Jeff Conservative. I'm a flipping monster. Cindy? Couldn't quite make the play. Uh, yeah. Anytime you like, Johnny. And that's given up a double. It happens. But it happens. Yeah, let's not give up a run. Is Vera Contagion, who's not all that... Jeff should be able to deal with her. Should. But that's not a guarantee of success. No. It's a guarantee he's going to throw the ball, though, that's for sure. Uh, two outsiders there, not really making the money. Uh, Val will deal with that, though. And that's all she wrote. The Conservative comes in and makes the magic. Get in. All right. Okay, let's flip in, do this. Yeah, here comes Chubbs. Another run or two, please, this inning. One, one run is all I ask. Just one. Chubbs, it's not going to be you. They're done with Minstrel's brain. brain. Yeah, they're bringing in Unlucky Jackson, the closer, who's solid. But he's a closer. Yes. All right, ride out three pitches, please, Chubbs, unless they're both on. Nope, there you go. You can definitely do three. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Don't be tempted by anything that looks good until you've seen enough that we can wear this clown down. Because if this goes to a full nine inning, we don't want to be facing this guy when we're batting for the last time. 
Here's Johnny Touchdown. He's got a double, three singles and two runs batted in. I don't like it, but it, there it is. Come on, Julie. Hang in there, son. Yeah, we've got to we've got to kill this guy's fitness. He's already down to half stamina. Yeah, that's the weakness with closers. That's three balls. Strike two. All right, Julie, make a judgment call. He makes a judgment. Five for five from Julius Hardware. We still hate him, but somehow he delivers. Un unbelievable. Unbelievable. None of the players we actually like have been any good at all. <coughs> Is McHenry. And this closing picture is being made to look stupid. Yes. All right. Unlucky, unlucky, Jackson. Strike two. Yeah. All right. Come on, Scratchy. Nice off target. Oh, dear. So's that. Oh, no. Don't get tired, will you? Scratchy splits the infield, and he's on base as well. One out, two runners on now, and that's where we're at our weakest because this is where the double play comes up. Here comes Coral. Number 19. Whee. Yeah. Okay, Coral. Just a just a nice simple base hit. Okay. Nice simple base hit. Or knock it over the fence. That's inside. Or get a walk. I don't mind. Um Splits the infield. Base is loaded. Oh ho ho. Oh, may we. Yeah, that's Jeff Conservative. Hang on. Base is loaded. Yeah, one out. Yeah. Uh, have you got one out? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I've got one out. Or no outs. Hang on. Give me the, give me the score. It won't give me the score. Uh, okay. What's the... I need the score. Uh, one out. One out. One out. Okay, right. Yeah, okay. So double play finishes it off. Bases are loaded. Yeah. Who have I got left to hit with? You'd be bringing in someone injured, or you'd be bringing in Kim. Oh, dear. Kim's not that much better than Jeff. Yeah. Is Jeff going to pitch again? Yes. Yeah. All right. Okay. All right, Jeff, you're batting. <clears throat> now pitching oh. Farmer. They're bringing in another reliever. And he's actually got the energy to see this through. Okay. He's not great, though. Doesn't matter. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. That's a swing. Jeff, you can strike out if you want, son. Ah! Worst possible outcome. No, it's not. Jeff makes it to first. Oh. Hey. Oh. Hey. We got a run. Okay. Here comes Cindy. Runners now on the corners. Cindy can advance our lead further with a simple hit here. Done. Done. She's got it. She's got more than that. Keep running, people. Keep running. Keep running. Keep running. Keep running. Keep running. Has Jeff got the legs? He's going to try. Go on, Jeff. Run, man. Run. Jeff gets in. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. That's the stuff. Oh, we've done it. Oh, good. Oh, I mean, heck. Uh, here comes Cookie. Cindy there putting this one away. And we've intentionally walked Cookie Peaches Wallace. Interesting. Because they know that Johnny Touchdown is just a little bit prone to, uh, uh, <laughs> to, to ruining it. Come on, JT. Let's go. That one's gone foul. All right, Johnny. Come on, Johnny. All right. Johnny Touchdown. Johnny. Nope. Outside. Johnny touchdown. Come on, son. And there's the base hit. Yeah. You did have Cindy as the lead runner there. She could have made it. It would have been close, but she's fast enough. Doesn't matter. Here comes Val. The base is loaded up again. Doesn't matter if we're out at this point. I've got enough pitching depth to deal with them. Although Valerie should have left it. I, d I was on the fence about leaving it. I chose to swing too late. She made good contact. But not before BDP have done what they needed to. The score now. Bulldozer of power 9. The Sea Raiders 4. Can we hang in there with Jeff pitching? Is Mr. Smithers. He's not their best. 
Um, but Jeff is not at his best. He's only pitched 10 today, but he came in not at 100%. That one's only going as far as Cindy. Jeff Conservative, one pitch, one out. Yes. Is their pitcher. If they sub him, I don't know if they've got anyone left. Now batting number 10. Ooh. Yeah, and we get to bat again if we have to. Squib Tandem's coming into bat. I don't think they've got any pitchers left. Well, doesn't really matter, does it? No. A, a terrible pitch from Jeff Conservative there uh, that somehow worked. That one's high and longish, but it's only longish. Cookie is in the region. And it was foul, uh, but that's out. Left fielder, number 46. Speak his name with reverence. His name is Jeff Conservative. Uh, here's Jessica Therapy, a halfway decent batter, if the numbers are to be believed. Do we believe the numbers? Well, I don't know. You tell me. Uh, here comes uh, Jeff. Chuck it. Bosh. It's gone long, but not long enough. Cookie saying, I got this, bruv. And indeed she does. That's the ball game. And BDP go two for two for once. And the faithful in the chat who backed the double win were on the flipping money. I uh, love it. Yeah. 26 hits. <laughs> we should have won that by about 15 naught. Uh, 20. Amazing. Amazing. Great batting from BDP all day. Um, Julie, brace yourselves for Julie Hardware getting the MVP award. Just, just brace yourselves for it. Just, <laughs> ah, I won't be able to live with myself. Anyway, yeah. <clears throat> Jeff with his boats gets his first win of the season. Jeffy Boy Conservative gets a save. Perfect. Yep. Santino gave up the gave up the hits and the business. Yeah, I know, but it happens. Julie Hardware is your number one star player of the day. Oh, there's something rotten in Denmark, and I'll tell you what it is. It's Julie Hardware. Prawn Jock is in at number two. Cindy Vapid in at number three. Whew. Hey, flipping. What a... I two absolute storming games. Oh, hold on. Oh, what now? There's only one donut left. I don't care. Cheese doesn't get it. Chubbs does, because Chubbs is a starter. As much as we like the cheese... You're not a starter, cheese. Uh, we've got one game to simulate. And then, oh, we've got the, we've got the Toy Masters next. All right, let's simulate this game. Yeah, Pathfinders win easily over the uh, Space Agency. And in the Bombastic Division, Bulldozer Power tied for the lead. Tied for the lead. Uh, four and two. It's early days. Um, yeah, with the Grunt Auto Group. This is more like it. Uh, Wood Chipper sees the Colonel Space Agency on four and three out front. Pathfinders lead the Whoop Whoop on five and two. Hop in the boundary and in bad company, five and one for the Voo Voo Boys. They're looking strong. Uh, Bumps and Medics equally strong, five and one. Equally strong, Pitch Creek Miners, five and one. Who sucks? The Port Miggins Pirates stink. Oh and six for them so far, but they haven't played us yet. So, you know, there it is. There you are. There it goes. Um, <laughs> right, let's see who's on the market briefly. Uh, yeah. Yeah. The Pirates have signed Damon Herring, replacing Paul Crapwhistle. And I'll be honest, yeah, Paul might only be 19, but he is rubbish. Uh, right. What are we looking for? Centre fielder. Chunk Flunkerson. How much have I got in the budget? 3.3 .3 mil. How much is, uh, is Matey Girl? Uh, I think she's sub a million, so I don't know if we can afford it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Flunkerson would do it. Look at that fielding. Uh, and his batting is good enough. Yeah, 3.3. .3. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it might wipe out all of our training budget. Yeah. Who's next up? Hand sanitizer is even more expensive. Yes. Uh, then you got two little gibbering sponge. Is she any good? Uh, please hold. Again, decent fielding. Slightly worse batting. But not massively worse. And she's half a million quid less. But she will occasionally be called on to be a relieving uh, a, a pinch hitter. Yeah, 
Is she going to be any good at that? No. Okay, keep looking. Keep going down. We we may we'll probably make a play for the expensive fella in a moment. Uh, what do we got here? Felicity Hazard. She can hit it over the fence, but only if she can see the ball, which is by no means certain. And her fielding is an ace. Uh, Claw uh, Vaughn Cloth is is mediocre across the board. All right. Uh, Butchell Harry Skull fast. The end. Okay. Uh, any more centre fielders? Uh, or we'll take utility outfield, which we'll look at next. Bernard Learning Curve is cheap. I can afford him. The reason he's cheap is he's not very good, although his contact is possibly better. Yeah. John's chucks a tenner in a bucket because we got two wins. Nice one, John. Loving your work. Thank you very much. Uh, any more for any more? I'll take a D-rated player if they've got the numbers. Uh, Vigitor Viking is well fast, but completely hopeless. Um, yeah. Yeah, we are. We're scraping the barrel here. Yeah, Pickles Dill Herfer's nothing. Ah, oh, the mighty Dill Herfer. Yes. Now look at secondary. Why don't you do some sorting? I'm trying to. Uh, well, you know, I want to. I want to sort the free agency list. There must be. There no, is right. Uh, right. Ding dong. Okay. Sort by secondary position, please. Thank you. Sort it again. All right. Uh, outfield is what we're after. Utility outfielder. For about three and a bit million. Okay, no. Scooter. Hello, Scoots. Uh, you're better than I'm currently running with, but you're not good. But you are better than what I've got. Uh, Wolf Jerk is a bit more expensive. No. No. Yeah. Okay, all right. Back to primary. Go down to the centre fielders. Centre fielders. Centre fielders. Centre fielders. They'll be around. Okay, let's see if we can afford uh, whoever it was we looked at first. Yeah, Flunkerson. Yeah, 52 contact isn't great, but that's a starting fielder. Yeah. And frankly, having a very reliable fielder is more meaningful to me than uh, having someone who can hit. You sure? Yeah. Sure? Yeah, let's have a look. All right, sign him. And where is it? Pretend Kim's 1.4 million. Get off my team. Done. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. We're burning through all of our budget here. Yeah, I know, but it's worth it. All right, Chunk Flunkson signed. Pretend Kim is history. Uh, good. Right, done. Yeah. Burt Violence's price continues to drop as nobody wants him because he's too expensive. He is a good player, though. He is. But we don't have eight and a half million to sign him. No. Crampons? Do you want him? I mean, look. He does have the classic Crampons uh, stats. And he's clutch as well. Oh, man. Crampons would be hitting everything. What have I got on my team that is in the region of four million who is currently an infielder? The cheese, maybe. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm just considering it. It's not necessarily going to happen. Oh, uh, Jeff just can, just got himself a uh, uh, a negative trait. That's good. That's that's what you want. The cheese is four point six million. You could replace the cheese with Bernie crampons. Oh, oh, and get money back. Yeah, yeah. Who else have we got on the infield? Uh, chicken Druid. You could replace the chicken druid with Bernie Crampons. Chicken Druid's a much better hitter, though. I think we might be signing Bernie Crampons as well. Yeah. There's going to be a riot. If you get rid of Benny Cheese, everyone's going to be a disaster. Yeah, you see, look, they all want Crampons, but they don't want the cheese. Uh, crampons, it's only 37. All right, let's, let's... Does he do anything else? No, he's a shortstop, and that's it. You're getting rid of a utility player for a shortstop. Yeah, okay. All right, not the cheese. We'll get rid of the druid. Ah, oh, you shouldn't. You shouldn't do it. You shouldn't do it. Get rid of the druid, man. Get rid of the druid. Do it, do it, do it, do it. The druid's a utility third... He doesn't have any utility. He's only a third baseman. All right, done. Oh, I can't afford it. I'm short 400k. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, what a shame. Yep. No, there isn't any other... No, I can't do it. I can't do it. I think Crampons is going to stay there, though, and he might be cheaper after the next game. I might be cheaper after the next game, 
Bernie Crampon stays on the board. That's it for this week. <laughs> I promised you games and you got them and we won them both because it's brilliant. Uh, fabulous. I love this show. Uh, the, the only reason I'm playing this is because you're watching live. The live element makes it so much more fun. Um, yeah, no, so thank you very much for that. I'll catch you next time. There is a new Electro Sports series coming soon. And if you head over to Discord, you can even join in. Oh. Yes, head down to the Brutal Ball. Uh, brutal Ball. Brutal Ball. Yes, room. And look at details. Anyway, there you go. That's your lot. That's enough. And now, the lack of theme tune. Oh, good. Yeah, yeah. People love that. Yeah, yeah. Lack of theme tune. Boop-a-doo, boop-a-doo, boop-a-doo. It's Electro Sports. Cheerio. <laughs>